Up until this point, we've only looked at case examples of UFO sightings. But there are many people who claim that they have not only seen the pilots of these flying saucers, but also have actually been taken or abducted. Well, today we take a look at a few of these mysterious cases. Since the modern UFO era began, much research has taken place. One of these researchers is now famous J. Allen Hynek. This world-renowned authority on the UFO phenomenon developed a classification system which helps sort out the different types of encounters. According to Hynek's system, there are three different types of encounters. The first, called a close encounter of the first kind, is a visual sighting of an unidentified flying object. A close encounter of the second kind is a visual sighting of a UFO, plus the accompanying of physical evidence, while a close encounter of the third kind is the actual sightings of occupants in and around a UFO. However, with the recent rise of those claiming to have been abducted, it became necessary to add two additional classifications onto the original three. Therefore, a close encounter of the fourth kind is the actual kidnapping or abduction of a victim, while a close encounter of the fifth kind is where contact is initiated by a human through methods such as telepathy. One such example of a close encounter of the fourth kind happened in September of 1961. Mr. and Mrs. Barney and Betty Hill were driving home one evening when they spotted a bright colored object that appeared to be following them. Mr. Hill stopped the car, grabbed a pair of binoculars, and was startled to see through the windows of the craft the pilot staring back at him. Terrified, Mr. Hill got back into the car and quickly drove away. However, within moments they started hearing some beeping sounds from the back of their car. Apparently, this was the last thing they could remember until they arrived at home, where they discovered that approximately two hours of time was missing. Another strange case is that of a woman who goes by the alias of Kathy Davis. Apparently, she began to have unusual encounters when she was very young. Once while on a family trip, she encountered an object that looked, according to her description, like a white windowless house. Once inside, she met a group of strange-looking humanoid entities who performed a physical examination and removed a piece of skin from her lower leg. Apparently, these entities could change shape into gray-skinned, small humanoid figures with large heads and large eyes. Davis claims that after this experience, she was repeatedly abducted, taken aboard alien spacecraft, and subject to in-depth gynecological examinations, harvesting of ovum, genetic experimentation, and eventually presented with the fruit of these experiments. An alien-human hybrid child, which they told her through telepathy, was her daughter. Another fourth kind encounter happened to a Brazilian farmer by the name of Antonio Velas Boas. While driving his tractor one day, he saw a shiny oval object heading toward him. After it landed just ahead of him, he claims that several small figures wearing suits and helmets took him aboard their vessel where they stripped him naked and subjected him to medical-like experimental procedures. A perusal of any UFO encyclopedia will demonstrate that these are just a few of the many different examples of claimed abductions. But are these so-called encounters hoaxes or fraudulent? Or is there something to this? Now we will come back to this topic of abductions, but the main goal of these last few weeks was to establish the fact that something is going on. It can't all simply be relegated to fantasy. More on this to come. In fact, there's a lot of work being done on this whole area. In fact, uh, as you look at end times event, there's some theories that many prophecy teachers have that the dark forces, the demonic dark forces, are actually creating a narrative, um, a fictional narrative, that the UFO movement or all of that will be that which will one day cleanse the planet of the so-called unbelievers. And of course, that is interesting to me because the Bible speaks of a catching up or a harpazo where suddenly... Uh, God's people will be taken away off the planet. That's mm. fascinating. A lot of prophecy teachers talk about that, Ryan. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very true. In fact, I've been studying uh, the rapture and to do with all that, and I think that's very interesting information. And of course, the question is, you know, why would you worry about uh, developing a narrative in that way if it's not going to happen? And that's a whole other story for another day. Very, very interesting stuff.